When Chapman Billy's leave the street and Druthy neighbors' neighbors meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, we sit boozing at the nappy, getting foo and unco happy. We think nigh on the long scot smiles, the mosses water slaps and styles, that lie between us in that hame, where sits our sulkin silly dame, gathering her brow like gathering store, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth found on his tam o' shanter as he fray air and night did canter. Old air, <laughs> wham near a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, tam, had thou but been say wise, and ta and thy and wife Kate's advice, she told thee well thou was a skillim, a bleatherin, a blusterin, drunken blillim. That fray November till October, I mark it day, I was nice sober. That ilka melder with the miller thou set, as lang as thou had siller. That every nag was kaid a shoe on, the smith and knee get roar and foo on. That at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drink with Kirk and Jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched by warlocks in the murk, by Alloway's eld haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me great to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthy sage advices the husband fray the wife despises. But to our tale, aye, mark it night. Tam had got planted on cool right, fast by an ingle bleeze, and finely with ream and swats that drank divinely, and, and at his elbow suitor Johnny, his ancient trusty, drutty crony. Tam lulled him like a vera brother. Thou had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and aye, the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious with favor, secret, sweet, and precious. The suitor <laughs> told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was a ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tom did not mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, he endrooned himself among the nappy. As bees flee hame with lades of treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tom was glorious over the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppy spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white and melts forever. Or like the borealis rays that flit air, you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. No man can tell the time nor tide. The hour approaches. Tam mon ride. That hour a night's black arc, the key stain, that dreary night he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he tacks the road as near a poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twould blown its last, the rattling showers roared on the blast, the speedy gleams of darkness swallowed, loud deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night the child might understand, the devil had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg. Tam skelped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good boob blonnet, whilst crooning over some old Scots sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest buggles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was growing nigh, where gas and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was past the ford, but in the snow the chapman smored, and past the bricks in miracle stain, where drunken Charlie breaks neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters found the murdered bairn, near the thorn upon the well, where Mungo's mither hanged herself. Before him, Dune poured all his floods, the doubling storm rode through the woods, the lightnings flashed from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, when glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a bleeze. With ilk a bore, the beams were glancing and loud resounded, mirth and dancing. <laughs> Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, the dangers thou canst make us scorn. With Tippany, we fear no evil, with Usquabe. Mm. We face the devil. The swat serene in Tommy's noddle. Fair play he cared nigh a Dill's a bottle. But Maggie stood right, say astonished. So by the heel in hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and vow, Tam saw an uncouth sight. 
warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, Catili and Bret Nufre, France, but hornpipes, jigs, strasprays, and reels put life and metal to their heels. A Winnick bunker in the east, there set El Nick in shape a beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim, and large. To give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gat them skill till roof and rafters I did diddle. Coffins stood round like open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cowled hand held a light by which heroic time was able to note upon the holy table a murderer's bones in gibbet ends, twa span lang we unchristened bairns, a thief new cut it fray the rape, with his last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son a life bereft, the grey hairs yet stick to the heft, and more, oh, horrible and awful, that even to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out with lies sewed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts rotten black as muck, like stinking vile in every nook. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper, loud and louder, blew. The dancers, quick and quicker, flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they clicked, till Ilka Callan swat and licked and coosed her duddies to the wark and linked at it in her sark. <laughs> oh, Tam, Tam, had they been queens, a plump and strapping in their teens? Their socks, instead of creasy flannin, been snow white 1700 linen? Hmm? <laughs> These breeks of mine, my only pair, they once were plush, a good blue hair. I'd have given them off my hurdies for a blink of the bonny birdies. But withered, withered beldrums, old and dro, rig woody hags with speed of foal, lowping and flinging on a crummock. I wonder, did not turn your stomach? <laughs> but Tam kind what was what fool brawly. There was I, Winsome Winch and Wally, that night enlisted in the corps, lang after kind on Carrick shore. For many a beast a dead she shot, perished many a bonny boat, shook both maple corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. A cutty sark, <laughs> a paisley horn, while a lassie she had worn. In longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. <laughs> Little kin, thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny. With twa pound scots, twas I her riches, would ever a grace to dance a witches? But here my muse, her wing main cower, six flights are far beyond her power, to sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was, and strang, or how Tam stood like Ian bewitched and thought his very Ian enriched, even Satan glowered and figged foo fain and hotched in blue at might and main till first a caper, sin another, Tam tinted reason ill together and roars out, well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied, than out the hellish legion sallied. As, as bees biz out with angry feek, when plunder in herds assailed their beak. As open pussies mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose. As eager runs the market crowd, when catch a thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow, with many an eldritch screech and hollow. Oh, Tam, Tam, get thee fairin'. In hell, they'll rust thee like a heron. In vain, thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now, now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the key stain of the brig. That at them thou thy tail may toss, a run and stream the den across. But ere the key stain she could make, the faint her tail she had to stake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's metal. By spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her angry tail. The carlin caught her by the rump and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Uh, now what this tale of truth shall read, ilk man and mother's son take heed, that whene'er to drink you are inclined, or 
Cutty sarks run in your mind? <laughs> Think, ye may buy joys or dear. Remember Tam O'Shanter's mere.